you? Hello. Yeah, this is uh, Miles Dyson, AMBC News. How are you? Good, yourself? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah, we got this uh, phone number. Uh, yeah, through some channels, and they um, uh, we have we're doing a story uh, about uh, prank callers, uh, and we've heard that uh, you've been a frequent uh, a victim of these calls. Uh, and uh, yeah, I was yes. yeah I was wondering if you were willing to do a, a, a interview uh, for us for our station. Sure. Um, as a matter of fact, they put me out of business. They put you out of business. Yeah, that's what we heard. So yeah, we we would like to. Uh, it cost me. Uh huh. Cost me two hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred thousand. How do I know you're not a prank caller? I'm not. No, I'm not a prank caller. My name is Miles Bennett Dyson. From uh, okay. a ANBC News, you can look it up on the on the internet. It's not a problem, sir. Um, okay. And if you if you'd like, we can do the interview over the phone first, like uh, uh, the kind of questions that I would uh, like to ask you, and then uh, later uh, at a later stage uh, uh, we could meet up if, if you're willing to do that, of course. Uh, uh, well, um, yeah, but not today. We wouldn't be able to do it today. No, no, not today. It would be approximately uh, in uh, within two weeks, I think. Well, who told you about me um, being a regular victim of prank callers? No, we did, we did. Uh, we got a research team here, and uh, there are some uh, guys. They uh, went on. Uh, they just found the information on the internet that uh, right. Right. something about uh, 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 they called a fire truck to your business or something. Oh, yeah, they called SWAT team, they called a bunch of people. They called the Belmont Police, is the police station. Officer James Schwab, I think, probably would be good included in the story. Okay. Well, uh, do you have his the, phone the number? Internet. Yeah, do you have his phone number? Maybe? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got the phone number to the station. And as a matter of fact, I don't know if you're aware of this, but one of the prank callers has been arrested and he's cooperating with the police. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know about a guy. I don't know about a guy out in L.A. He got he got caught too, but well, this guy's reasonably cooperative. Anyway, Officer James Schwab's phone number is six one seven. Six one seven. Four eight. Yeah, four eight four. Okay. One two one five. That's the non-emergency number. All right. Okay. Well, th uh, thank you. And you just hit option. You just hit option one, the first key. You know. And then speak to the um, duty duty officer, a supervisor. Yes. And I'm sure that they'll transfer you right into his voicemail if he's not available. Well, well, thank you very much, and I'm glad that you're cooperative uh, into helping us uh, forming this story. Um, do, do do you know anything about the motives of these uh, uh, prank callers? It's uh, right now. I'm um, I'm closing down my shop. I'm I'm cleaning out the last of it right now. So. I, I don't have a whole bunch of time to talk, but oh, okay. it is, it is, I've been, I've been, I've been doing, I've been prank called every single day for the last three years. That's, uh, Anywhere that's for the first two years of 50 to 100 phone calls a day. A picture that. You've got a small shop or even at your home or uh -huh. even at your office if you've got 50 to 100 prank calls a day. How yeah. much work could you get done? Um, long story short is I've got a tremendous amount of evidence and information, and some of them are from across the ocean. Some oh, of them are from the U.K. and the Netherlands, and I know who they are, too. Okay, okay. Well, okay, that, that's, that's good that you, uh, so you investigated yourself as well. I've been doing my own investigation. I'm in IT, so I, I wasn't going to be sitting by idly waiting for the police to help because... It's a day late and a dollar short. They've got it for three years to do an investigation, and that's why they're starting to make arrests now. But they didn't care about me. They could have done this a little bit quicker, but I think that they were looking for other evidence as well. See what else they were into. And some of these guys are into uh, international stolen credit cards. There's a lot of that they're into, but uh, I really can't discuss too much of it right no. now because i got to finish up this shop. I was supposed to be out of here last week. Yeah, I understand. I understand. So uh, maybe one more question for sure. Uh, which uh, sure. Prank, uh, prank callers have caused the most damage to them, so they uh, can be in the report included? I would have to say that would be a guy named Mark from the Netherlands. His his operative name on YouTube is six 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 J one. Okay. Six 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 J one. All right. We'll definitely look at that. And also. Mr. Blonde, 
M I S T A H B L O N D E, Mr. Blonde. Uh, I think that there's Mr. Blonde dot WordPress dot com. Mr. Blonde. Dot, he also. Well, I got so much information. I, you don't want to get me going right now. I, I just inundate you with information. Okay, thank but you. you well, check out Mr. Yeah, I will huh? definitely. I will definitely check that out. Would you know uh, when could we call you back uh, for to make further appointments? Yeah, call me back. Uh, what's today? Today's Tuesday. Why don't you call me back? Thursday, I'll be reasonably... Uh, uh... Okay. Did you hang up on him? Dalek? No, he hang up. Oh. Okay, Thursday. Okay, we'll call back Thursday. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Ah, and I recorded everything, so... Awesome. Send that to me.